and it was awesome. And you know, his final, his final, like you know, final um, character when he's like you know an old man is just like, wow, he can be a pretty good character. All right, Cyber Sub Zero. Now, Armageddon was definitely, in my opinion, Armageddon, in my opinion, was probably the um, the lowest point Mortal Kombat has ever done. Because um, what killed it on a lot of us was definitely uh, what killed it for us was to create your own fatality. I didn't like that at all. I was like thinking, come on, do these are like we have different fatalities? Like it's not like you know, like of course, yeah, like we love to create our own fatalities, but when you just okay, rip off his leg, rip off his arm, decapitate, really, that's it, like. I don't like that. It's because you know, like you know, everybody has that unique fatality, and then like in Armageddon, they made it everybody has everybody's looking the same. Ooh, that was lucky. <laughs> All right, let's go. Then like pretty much everybody thought fighting games would be dead at that point. Then you got like you know the revival with um. The revival of uh, fighting games was starting with Street Fighter. And Street Fighter, I'll try and like make it to an episode. Just that, like, I don't know. It's just really a thing that I do not feel like, uh, you know, like, I'm not that good at. Uh, it's, it surprised me, it's very technical. Very technical, very, like, you know, very um, hard to master. It's like you don't want to play any other fighting game but Street Fighter because. The system inside is so in, is so intense and technical that people are gonna be like a lot of head scratching moments and uh, very bad. Very bad. Gotcha. There we go. <laughs> That's the setup I wanted. Oh, now I guess what they brought back to uh, Mortal Kombat 9 was um, they brought back. Kind of like the story in a way, like they had that whole like time travel thing. I love how like you know when they brought MK9, they didn't like you know deny any of the story that happened so far. They said yes, everything happened like that, but then they say, oh wait, you know what? Raiden he has this amulet that he can communicate with his past self. So it's like time travel, and you know we all know that's gonna be uh, very well visited in you know video games, TV, like all forms of media because it's just so popular. But at least here in MK9. I mean, time travel do it right, and it's very, you know, it works very you know, fluid, very, like, you know, very smooth. And, um, I guess Freddy Cruiser. Oh, Cruiser. <laughs> I swear, this guy has such a good keep, yeah, such a good keep away game that it's just, like, amazing. See? Like, just like that. Whoa, that's... Oh, no flawless. Uh, oh my god. There you go. <laughs> I knew it was gonna do that. <laughs> oh, I am. Last year, when they announced the DLC pack, I was really excited. And when they started off with Scarlet, I was like, "Wow!" Like, which character became an actual character? That's a first. I'm not sure if uh, you know any of you guys remember that, but I was sure for it. Um, next up was uh, Kenshi. Yeah, Kenshi was the second one, and he was like, "Yeah, we got people from like you know the Deadly Alliance and onwards, in in like you know MK9." And then Rain came in, and everyone was like, "Oh, Rain!" It's like that's actually awesome because, like, you know, we are, I'm surprised that he didn't show up in like the first two Mortal Kombat's. Oh boy, Shang Tsung. Your soul is mine. Alright, let's go. 
Oh my god, I'm gonna quit right now. I get like all the DLC fighters, I just... I, like, I feel like all the DLC fighters are like keep away characters in their own way. Oh wow. Oh god, man. Really? Oh my god, I like this. Ah, it's a long Really? Oh yeah, yeah, they have a people on them. Oh my god. Oh, really? Oh, man. I messed up so bad on that. Oh, God. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. Let's keep going. I can do this. I can do this. Now. Oh man, my thumb cut Basic bread and butters. <laughs> Not even bread and butter. It's in a comp move list. Oh god, that was bad. I just needed to get in. I was like thinking, why am I dashing? I gotta teleport. <laughs> I'm now saying to me to I guess like, you know, I guess some good things for the discussion is like, what is your most hated boss battle in a fighting game? Like, if you can't list your top five, mine would be like, number one would be Alpha 152 from um, Dead or Alive 4. Next would be Marie from Skullgirls. Then, uh, Shao Kahn from Mortal Kombat. And then, uh, Seth from uh, Street Fighter. Those are probably top five? Yeah. yeah. Dead or Alive, Skullgirls, Mortal Kombat, um, Street Fighter, and then, uh, as I say, Alpha Tekken. <laughs> He's actually fairly easy. He just has like this unique collection. And also we have a character that likes to suit farmer. There we go. Woo! Yeah. 
You know I get all these victory. At least some time here. There you go. Oh, really? Nah, oh, that's scared the crap out of me. Uh, no double falls. Oh god. I admit, like any character with super armor in the fighting game is already like a bigger threat than most. Because, oh hey, I can if you're gonna do this combo, I can interrupt him. And then if it's with super armor, nope. You just see him flash. And I'm thinking, yeah, I took that hit. <laughs> it's very highlighted in the Ultimate Marvel, especially against Hulk. Dear God, Hulk is just Hulk smash, heavy, prong, and a hard knockdown. So it's like, how am I gonna get around that? I have to do like two quick hits. Alright. Alright, Skull, I'll get you out right there. And Katana. So cheap. Okay. Oh, you wanna do that on me? Oh god, that's. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, I forgot I can't get in the net. I can't get in the net. Oh my god. Ah, I got one too low. Oh god, why did I jump that? There we go. There we go. Why do I keep doing the net? Out of habit. Oh god. Where are I? Why? Oh why god why? Okay, no, not like this, not like this guys. Cautiously, cautiously. Ah! That was a horrible punish. <laughs> I got your number, Shao Kahn. Oh god, no. God, that's horrible. Whew. That was so cool. Oh, what the fuck? Oh god, it won't do max damage. God, god. I was so close. Okay, don't worry. Come on, let's finish this. Let's, let's bring it home. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was a horrible way to die. God. 
Alright, don't worry, don't worry. Just because I lose to him once doesn't mean I'm gonna lose to him again. 